I'm not too sure how much longer I'm gonna be keeping my Christmas decorations up. I kind of like the lights. It makes the man cave more coolish. But the Santa hat and this grass stuff, that's probably gotta go once we hit New Year's, but. Yo, what's up squad? It's Elite Shot here, AKA Sean. When do you guys start taking down your Christmas decorations? Do you wait until right after Christmas or do you wait till like New Year's to take it down? Because honestly, like I said, I kind of like it. It makes the cave more cool. That's what it's all about. But in this video, guys, I'm bringing you another Elite vlog. In this series, I bust out my camera and we record whatever I want. We record? I say we because you you are experiencing it with me. So it's like a we, not just me. But this thing I'm gonna unbox, unwrap, is the NetDuma R1 gaming router. If you guys follow me on social media, you would know I picked up a gaming router that supposedly helps improve connections while playing Call of Duty because it has all these features that do things that improve your quality, such as limiting the range at which you're connecting with other players. So I won't be connecting with people from Hong Kong or wherever across the world. I'll be connecting with people where I want to connect to in my area. So that means the connections will be good. So here's the package. I didn't unwrap it yet, but I did kind of um, open it, but not open it fully just so I can have a easier job doing this with one hand because one hand vlogs are more difficult, I suppose. So, check this out guys. Look what we got in here. Ta-da! Ta-da! I'm gonna put on a light, one second. I'm gonna throw on this other spotlight. Just makes it like a little brighter in here. Just so we got a little more light up in here because I felt like it was kinda dark. I have these two standing up lamps, but they don't provide all the light that I want. But they are pretty nice. I just, I love my little battle station. We got eagles. Giving me the power, my spirit animals. Eagles are so sweet, man. That's why it's in my logo. They're the best. But let's go back to this router, which I set over here. Check it. Early adopter edition. Net Duma R1 Dominate Lag. NetDuma.com. Stay connected on Twitter. Nice little box, little package here. Anything on the back? Some other information. It says, we hope you have a great experience dominating lag with the NetDuma R1 gaming router. In this box, you will find one Microtech router powered by the NetDuma R1 software, power adapter, quick start guide, ethernet cable, and that's it. All right, so well, there you have it. Let's get opening this and see what we have inside. We'll take a nice peek. Okay, we got some quick start guide here showing how to connect it up. So ISP hub into the NetDuma R1 router. All the wireless devices are uh, affected by this router, which is great because that's how we want to improve our connections. I'm not exactly sure of all these ethernet different names and such. I'm not super familiar with routers or wireless routers of any type. I just know that this one is going to help improve my game. I don't know the specifics. I don't think I'm some whiz computer kid who knows all this. I don't. I probably know as much as you or less than you. I'm sure there's so many of you who know way more about this kind of stuff than I do, but I'm learning and you guys learning with me. So we could take this out, anything on the back side, some more directions, which I'm not gonna read right now. I'll probably read that on my own and set this up. But here's this little magical device, this little box that will help improve our game. So it's definitely not that big. I'm not gonna say anything after that. Different ports there. So it's not that fancy. It's pretty st straightforward to the point. They're not trying to show off. They just created a little device that I really, really hope is gonna help. In the box, we also have the power cable. You get the point. I don't have to take it out and show it off. You guys can see it for yourself right there. Interesting little little cable thing here, little port. But honestly, that's all in the box. Was there anything else in the bag that I missed? I think there was. Yes, here it is. Network patch cable. Thank you. All right, so this unwrapping really didn't include that much. We have the router, the power cable, this other wire thing, and some directions to start this up. So in this video, I think I might also include my 
test or review of this product. I'm trying to think if I want to include the gameplay within this vlog or if I should make a different video using the new router. Because with a lot of my vlog videos, normally it's just a vlog. And with my gaming videos, they're gaming videos. But I'm trying to think if I want to include it in here. I'll let you guys know. If you keep watching, you'll find out sh soon enough. I want to set this up and actually test this thing out. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So I just set up my router. I unhooked all the cables and stuff from my current ISP hub. I found out that ISP stands for Internet Service Provider. Kind of obvious, but I forgot that. So I unhooked that stuff and I hooked everything back into this new NetDuma R1 gaming router check this thing out so it's down here as you can see my my computer cable my xbox one cable and my 360 internet cable ethernet cable are all plugged into this router while the only thing plugged into my main router is the net duma one router along with the power cable to supply power to this bad guy the next step in the process asked me to go to my computer and to type in this right there and for some reason I'm having problems with my internet. Like right now it's showing that I don't have a secure connection. It shows that little like computer screen with the ethernet cable and that triangle that has exclamation mark on it. And it's acting as if like I don't have internet right now. So I gotta try and figure this out. I really hope I can. I'm not too sure if Ryzen Fios prevents things like this by not allowing you to include other routers. I'm not too sure because I know Fios and the Verizon service is weird with their routers. Like they want you to use theirs and they really don't like you using others. So I'm gonna try and get my internet back work again. Right now it's unidentified and I'm not sure why because it is plugged in. I followed the directions on this little card here. On this quick startup guide, it did exactly what I did. I unhooked all that, plugged it into there and for some reason, things aren't working right now so i really hope i can figure out this internet situation because i want to get gaming without bad connections wish me luck guys i got i gotta figure this out guys we have success i finally got my net doom r1 gaming router set up it's all plugged in and ready to go so i was having a few issues previously and that was because my computer was connecting to the wireless connection by default and I didn't want that. I wanted to connect to the wired connection because playing on a wired connection is much better. So now that this is set up, NetDuma has this one interface where you can adjust the settings and make use of all the benefits of this router. So check this out. Right now you can see this world map sort of thing and I can actually set the distance to who I connect to. So as you see that radius, that circle get bigger, that means I'm allowing myself to connect to more players. So for now, I wanna test out connecting to players that are relatively close to me. So I'm gonna set it to 500 kilometers, which turns out to be like 300 and something miles away. So I'm telling the router to only connect to players that are in that distance to me which is about now 300 miles or so, which should improve the connection because one, one issue, I guess the biggest issue related to lag is distance. The farther people are from you, the tougher or the more difficult time you'll have while connecting to them, which means more lag. So hopefully with this decreased distance, I'll have better connections in game, which should re result in better games. Hopefully, we'll see how it goes. This program and interface has all these other options. I can like block people from connecting to, I can only allow certain people to connect to. It has a whole bunch of stuff that makes it better when playing and just using devices in your house. Say if you have a bunch of wireless devices, I can make sure my Xbox is getting most of the power and limiting the speed for the other devices so I have the best connection as possible. I'm so excited to set this up and thanks to NetDuma for giving me some assistance because during the troubles I was having with connecting my router, I contacted them, I got a response within minutes and he helped me through the process and we got what we had to get. So thank you very much. Guys, I'm gonna do a quick test to see who I connect to online and if my connections are actually better. So you guys can keep watching. All right guys, so check this out. I'm, I'm trying to find a match right now and as you can see on the computer, you could see where all the players I'm connecting to and the ones that I'm not connecting to are outside of the range displayed by that 
exclamation point. So I'm only connecting the players within the radius I put, which is 513 kilometers. In the game, it's gonna be taking longer to find a match because it's trying to connect with players that are within my range. And since a lot of these lobbies are finding players outside of my range, it's not allowing me to connect to them. So I wanna see if I can actually find a match within this specific range of 513 kilometers. If this doesn't find a match within a few minutes, I'll try and increase the range to have a better chance of finding more lobbies. We'll see how this goes. I'm really, really excited for this, and I'm hoping connections are noticeable and much better than before. I'll let you guys know. All right guys, so I'm just hopping into a game. I probably should have my Elgato game capture along with my other software programs recording myself, but I'm gonna play this match and I'll let you guys personally know how it goes. It's gonna be TDM on Horizon. If I get in this game, which I think we are. Which we are, check it. All right guys, keep watching because I'll let you know how this match goes. Check it out guys, check this out. We made the enemy team forfeit, they backed out. I was going 16 and eight, not the most impressive score, but guys, I'm not lying, I'm not joking, I'm being dead serious. The connection was nearly flawless. Like. The hit detection was spot on. Wherever I was shooting, my bullets were hitting perfectly. No lag, no delay. The connection is super noticeable and greatly improved than before. So with this router, and by me limiting the distance at which I'm connecting people with, that's kind of confusing to say, but I hope you know what I mean. By me setting it to 513 kilometers, that's pretty much guaranteeing a good connection because it's not allowing my Xbox to connect to players that are super far away from me, which normally results in bad connection games. So this router definitely improves the connection, but what it doesn't do is it doesn't eliminate skill-based matchmaking. I'm still being matched with players that are of my skill level, and we're not too sure what they base that off of, KD, score per minute, a combination of both, we're not sure. It's not taking that away. I'm still facing people around my skill level, but the people I'm facing are close to me, and the connections are spot on. They were so good, we literally made the enemy team back out. So, when I set this to 513 kilometers, it definitely takes more time to find matches, and it takes longer to find games because I'm not really searching that far on the map. If I increase this more, I'll find more lobbies, which I'm probably gonna do. I might set it to 1,000 kilometers, so it's not as limited, and we'll see if we have better success that way. So I'll set it to 1,000, 1,024. Now we can connect with more players. I'll give it one more test, just to see how this is, but this time, I think I might hop over to some ground war, because normally ground war matches can be pretty inconsistent when it comes to connections, but let's see if this router actually helps and improves the connection when playing game modes with more players. We'll see how it goes. All right, check this out, guys. We just got into a ground war match of Domination on Terrace. We're gonna see how this goes. So I set it to 1,024 kilometers. So I increased the range um, I'm finding players at so I can find lobbies faster. And after this game, I'll let you guys know how it felt and how the connection was. Wish me luck. Guys, this is amazing. We absolutely crushed i'm not kidding this had to be the best connection game i've ever played in my entire life let's see that scoreboard baby let's see it 43 and 8 eight captures four defense not my best game ever but honestly it felt like the best connection ever the shots were spot on guys the hit detection is beautiful i felt like i actually had a, an amazing chance in gunfights because when you have a bad connection you know when you can't win gunfights when your bullets aren't registering or they're not hitting properly but in this game my shots were spot on and it felt so smooth i cannot wait to use this gaming router even more and expect to see it used in my future gameplays because there's no way i won't be using this having a good connection while playing makes the biggest difference in the world and honestly I don't want to say it, but I almost feel like this router is necessary to play well in Advanced Warfare. The skill-based matchmaking makes you match up with players that you don't have the best connection with, and matches you with players that are closest to your skill level, which is not good because it might be an unfair playing field if you're not connecting properly and the connection's not spot on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Net Duma R1 unboxing and review. I didn't show any gameplay in this video because it was strictly a vlog, 
But for my future gameplays, guys, expect to see this. And I'm actually going to be using this router in the gameplay you saw before this. That sounds confusing, I know. But I'm uploading this vlog at 2 p.m. And I uploaded my gameplay at 1.30 p.m. So thank you for watching. If you want to see more unboxings in the future, just let me know. I'm going to get back to gaming because this router is amazing. And I'm so glad I can finally have amazing connections in Advanced Warfare. Thanks to um, Nat Duma for the router. I paid for it, but I'm just saying thank you for creating such an amazing product. I can't wait to use this more and to recommend it to more people too because it really is an awesome thing. But as I always say, it's Elite Shot here, a.k.a. Sean, your friendly COD fanboy. I'm signing out. Peace!